water, a wonderful liquid. The things we see around us can be classified into three categories. One, solids. Two, liquids. Three, gases. Substances like water, oil, petrol, kerosene, milk and spirit are liquids. Water is the most commonly used liquid. Let us take a look at some of the properties of water. Some materials are soluble in water. Take a test tube and fill three-fourths of it with water. Add half a spoonful of sugar to it. Shake the test tube well. We find that sugar has disappeared. Taste the water. It tastes sweet. This is because sugar has dissolved in it. So, we say that sugar is soluble in water. Now take another test tube and fill three-fourths of it with water. Add half a spoonful of sand to it. Shake the test tube well. Can you see the sand now? The sand has settled down at the bottom of the test tube. Sand does not dissolve in water. So, we say that sand is insoluble in water. Substance is soluble in water. Milk, washing soda, common salt and sugar are soluble in water. Substance is insoluble in water. Sand, wax, glass, oil and kerosene are insoluble in water. Gases in water. Gases like oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide dissolve in water. In soda water or any soft drink, carbon dioxide is dissolved under pressure. When we open a bottle of soda water, we see the dissolved carbon dioxide escaping out rapidly in the form of bubbles. The water in lakes, rivers, ponds and seas has a lot of oxygen dissolved in it. Plants and animals living in water use this oxygen. 2. Some materials sink and some float in water. Take a beaker and fill about two-third of it with water. Drop an iron nail in it. The iron nail sinks in water and settles down at the bottom of the beaker. Only those things sink in water that are heavier than water. So, we say that iron is heavier than water. Now, take another beaker and fill about two-third of it with water. Drop a small piece of wood in this water. The piece of wood does not sink in the water. The material that floats on water is lighter than water. So, wood is lighter than water. Substances heavier than water. Iron, copper, aluminium, stone and chalk are heavier than water. Substances lighter than water. Wood, plastic, ice, oil and kerosene are lighter than water. Properties of liquid You know that water is a wonderful liquid. Let us now take a look at the properties of liquid with the help of this experiment. 1. Take some water in a beaker and mark the level of water in it. The water takes the shape of the beaker. Pour the water from the beaker into a glass. The water takes the shape of the glass. Now, put the water into a flat bottomed flask. The water takes the shape of the flat bottomed flask. This experiment shows that water, liquid, has no fixed shape of its own. It takes the shape of the container into which it is put. Now, let us pour the water from the flat-bottomed flask back into the original beaker. We find that the water fills the beaker up to the same mark. It shows that water has a fixed volume and this volume does not change even when the container is changed. So, water, liquid has a fixed volume. Liquids have the following properties. It have no fixed shape. They take the shape of the container in which they are kept. Has a fixed volume. 
is not hard flows from a higher level to a lower level. Measurement of liquid. Liquids are measured by their volume. The volume of a liquid can be measured by using various types of measuring vessels, jars and cylinders. The volume of a liquid is measured in liters and milliliters. 1 liter L is equal to 1000 milliliters ML. Liquid measuring vessels are of two types. Some vessels measure only a fixed volume of a liquid. These vessels are usually made of aluminium sheets. They are of different fixed capacities such as 100 milliliter, 200 milliliter, 500 milliliter and 1 liter. We measure the volume of liquids like milk and kerosene oil with the help of these vessels. Some vessels measure the desired volume of a liquid. These devices are usually made of transparent glass and have markings. Since these measuring devices are made of glass, we are able to see the level of the liquid inside them. These vessels are used in science labs. Water dissolves many substances in it. It is one of the most common and useful liquid around us. Nowadays, various human activities like bathing animals and throwing garbage in water bodies are making the water dirty. It is called water pollution. Water is very precious. We must keep it clean.